Hello, I'm Heidi Schneider, immediate past president of Adopt Yashurin Congregation, and more importantly, a new dog owner. And with me is my favorite dog handler and my oldest son, Asher Mincer. When I haven't been taking the dog for long walks or watching episodes of The Dog Whisperer, I have been studying Parashat Akeb because I will be giving a Devar Torah on this portion while Rabbi Kravitz is out of town. The Parsha begins with the word Akeb, which is um, a word that is similar to a cave, which means heal. And the 11th century commentator Rashi talks about the fact that, Rashi, that Moses uses the word Akeb in saying, it will be because of your listening to these ordinances that the Lord your God will safeguard you. So instead of using the word if, he's using the word akem, meaning heal. Now why does he use the word heal? Rashi explains that Moses is saying that if you trample on these commandments with your heels, there will be trouble that will ensue for you. So you have to tread gently. Now in this parsha as well, Moses uses a reference to feet a great deal. Another one of my favorites is when he says, talking about the miracles that God gave to the Israelites, he said, your garment did not wear out upon you and your foot did not swell these 40 years. Well, Rashi again interprets this, the fact that the, the Israelites' feet did not swell for 40 years with the fact that their sandals grew with their feet and always remained intact for 40 years. This was another miracle like the manna that God produced for the Israelites while they were in the desert. And finally, Rashi ends this portion again referring to feet. He said, no man shall stand before you. Hashem your God will set your terror and your fear in the face of the entire land will you would tread as he spoke to you. Every place where the sole of your foot will tread will be yours. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, from the river, the Euphrates, until the Western Sea shall be your boundary. So what Moses is saying here is that when they, when they come to the Promised Land, they will walk over it and be amazed. Their feet will tread on the land that they've been waiting for for 40 years. Now, neither Rashi nor Moses said anything about the metaphor of dog training. But for any of you who have ever trained a puppy, you know that an essential element is teaching your dog to heal. And in teaching your puppy to heal, what you're doing is you're asking the dog to walk parallel to you at your pace in harmony with your footsteps. I would like to think that Akev, our Parsha today, while Moses wasn't thinking of dog training, Nonetheless, Moses would like to think that the Israelite people, once they cross into the Promised Land, will be walking in harmony with God, parallel, side by side, and together, as he had hoped. Shabbat Shalom.